channel so in today's video we are doing this boring dancing hair tutorial I hope you guys love it I really loved the finished product so enjoy the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already but the things you will need are a can of the lacquer super hold hairspray a mirror so you can see the back uh, a comb and um, a big hair net uh, also some normal hair ties and some baby hair ties. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's jump straight into it. Okay, so what you wanna do first is section your hair from just above your ears and just go straight up. Okay, so you wanna make sure that this is even. So now you just wanna get this out of the way Perfect. And now you want to slick the remaining of it into a ponytail. Now we can take this hair out. And we're going to split it into sections. And the parts need to be super duper even. So once again, I've got quite fine hair, so I'm just going to split it into four sections. But if you've got really thick hair, you can probably split it into six sections. Do one section at a time. So I'm doing sections of four. So I'm working on this first section over the very far left hand side. And I'm going to split that in half. forwards and backwards. Now once you've got this section split, you want to tie a super tiny baby hair tie around it. So I'm going to spray a little bit of hairspray. Make sure it's slick and tie the baby hair tie around it. If these hair ties break, I'm gonna fucking die. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so this is the next section. So we've got the four mini ponytails. So this is what it's looking like. Okay, so I decided to end up just having the four ponytails and that second row behind them, I just ended up slicking that into the main ponytail because I've realized that having these four is going to be enough hair for the design that I wanted anyway. So don't worry about having that second row, put that straight back into the hair tie. Okay, so now that we've got our four ponytails, we're now going to create three behind it. So you wanna split the middle two in half and create a ponytail and then these two bits of hair at the side create another ponytail with those okay and then the last two strands of hair at the side create the third ponytail with those this is what it should look like at the back Okay, so now we want to create two ponytails, so split the one down the middle and have um, the left hand and the middle and then the right hand and the middle, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> and now we're going to put another hair tie around it all. 
I'm going to section the ponytail and just start teasing it so I can get a big bun. Now take your hairnet. This is a really big one. So we will loop this around a few times. Twist. So I lost the footage there. So you need to wrap the hairnet around twice if it's a really big one. So put it around once, twist it up the top and then put it around again. I've got to tell you guys, you need um, bobby pins. I guess you figured that. Okay, so now you want to put a couple of pins in to secure the bun and then go to a mirror or get someone else to put them all in for you so you can make sure they're nice and even. Just going to go into the bathroom and look in the big mirror so I can make sure that my bun's even and that I'm pinning it straight. But there's no secrets there, guys. Okay, so now that our bun is somewhat even, we're going to spray down all of the flyaways and hold them and slick them into each section. So I was just grabbing my diamantes and I found some pink earrings. So let's just whack those in, shall we? Like pink doesn't really go with the green eyeshadow and the orange lip, but you know what? Ballroom dancing is a bit crazy. This part is totally optional. I'm taking a matte brown eyeshadow, this one here. And what I'm doing is, cause my hair is really fine through the, um, the roots, I'm just filling it in. Also your scalp will be white and obviously you're gonna have a spray tan on. So you wanna just deepen up these sections here. You don't have to darken the part, but I just like to do the roots. So if you look at this side now in comparison to this side. Do I do this on a daily basis? Hell no. Hell no. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so now that that's done, this part's optional as well. I'm going to get some Darmontis and we're going to place them over the top of the hair ties. So I'm just using eyelash glue as always to stick them there. You can use whatever glue you're comfortable with, uh, although I do not recommend and say that it's okay to have it in your hair, just a little disclaimer. Um, I had to jump off camera to get the other ones on so I could see more clearly in a larger mirror. And that, of course, brings me to the end of this ballroom dancing hair tutorial. I hope you guys loved it. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I will be uploading this makeup look next Friday night.